microphones. So this is the green room. This Welcome is to the, the green room. We were here last week. Where's the week. green part? Oh, shoot, I forgot to put something back there. Yeah, I wasn't going to mention that. You need to plan Why, that at least can't. two days in advance. Because <laughs> they, they can't, they can't read, it. read it anyway. Yeah, right. Uh, this we is, should maybe have somebody like walk. Oh, we could probably by. find someone to do that. Yeah. Uh, I currently have people in 14 different states, three different countries, and four different continents. Give it just a second. Checking to see if our audio is working. There's a delay. Aha. So our audio is apparently working. Apparently, for now. Which is why we're here in the green room. Right. Where we just have a... A conversation. I don't want to talk about anything we're going to talk about on the show, though. Okay. So it has to be, uh, uh, football, uh, baseball, football. anything that we're not going to mention. Basketball, hockey. Okay. Got nothing, huh? No. <laughs> no I got nothing. <laughs> no. Randall no, Cobb's no. going over to the Jets now. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. That's He's amazing. a football player. <laughs> <laughs> Is He's that good news? Him. Bad news? He's following just Karen Rogers. It's just news. Yeah, I see. Karen Sorry. Rogers? I thought it was Aaron <laughs> Rogers. <laughs> You're trying to throw yeah, me off here. <laughs> You weren't supposed to catch that. Just the So he's going to the same, same team yeah, as K Aaron Rodgers? Yes. Yes, sir. Or maybe he's got a K Aaron Rodgers. He could be. Yeah. See, we still have, we just have four minutes to fill. Yeah? Kind of good jokes. Yes, and video is on. Well, I, I thought we weren't going to talk about anything that we were going to talk about in the video. Uh, what did I just ask you? Because <clears throat> last Do you have any good jokes? I, well, I was hoping for a joke you weren't going to use in the video. <clears throat> oh. You always have, have a million. Well, Some, yeah. Something about your pet mouse. You just <laughs> told someone about your pet mouse. Yeah, I've got a pet. Uh, I, well, you had. Yeah, I had a pet mouse oh. named Elvis. What happened? He's no longer he with died. Us? He yeah, died. Yeah, he died. How'd that happen? Well, he was caught in the trap. I was trying to lead you to yeah. it. <laughs> trying to give it to you. Trying to fill the four minutes here, Eric. Come yeah, on. Yeah. So now I, we need talking points for the green room. Right. Right. How's your car? Oh, it's great. Is it great? Yeah. yeah I like that car. You do. Well, that, you that's wanna, there, you want to buy subject. it, so... <laughs> yeah, we'll talk after the show. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we've got enough to cover. You've got a whole batch of Kringles. I'm looking at Kringles over there. We're seeing, yeah. Those are did the real hear, ones. Did you hear... Not that I'm from Wisconsin, but I understand that those are the real Kringles. I hope we're going to talk about that later, that you're not from Wisconsin. Uh, so we didn't really go over the all of the talking points. Yes, yeah, so we did go over all the talking. So about. I'm hoping no. That's you see, something this, more in this here. is going to take you so long that we don't have time for anything else. So that's okay. No, next I, week is another week. <laughs> Should we talk about the in, in the green room right now then? No, because we don't have time for that. Oh, okay. You have too much. That'll to be. Talk about? That'll be. A, we could do two hours on that. I'm sure. We could. We could. On that mystery we would, subject, we would lose them subject. very quickly. If anybody's in the chat, they could say hello. Somebody did. George, Leo. George, George, Jorge, hey, George. Jorge. Well, this week it could be Jorge, could be Jorge. <laughs> Although that's. Do you have to put your jaw oh, like that when you Jorge. say Jorge? Yes, Jorge. Claro que sí. <laughs> no habla de uh, español. No lo quieres hacer. Todo en español. Oui, oui. Terry. Oh, français. Okay. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Trudy. Trudy Jacobs. Is it Trude or Trudy? It looks like Trude, but you tell like me it's Trude. Trudy, and you should know. I should oughta, you yes. You know that person. I do. Trudy is the one who mentioned my name twice in the oh, comments. Jorge, Jorge says hello Jorge. again. Hola, Hola. Jorge. Hola. <laughs> I'm going to put the coming soon do you thing need? In. Do you need the bigger font so you can read it, or? Uh, uh, I just when asked you When your glasses just aren't uh, enough? If we go like this. Oh, yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm going to mute you right now. Would you? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, 
thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number seven of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, everyone's favorite Salami Swami, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Salami Luke, Swami, I like it, you Eric. You look pretty good like there. It. Well, thank you. Why is it you that too. you have a birthday and get younger, whereas uh, that doesn't happen to me? I don't no know. answer. It's the it's the smokehouse. How was your birthday? It's the smokehouse. It awesome. I probably have access to that. Yes, you do. What yeah. Do you, what? Just right in the back there. Right in the back. There's yeah. two, I think. There are two. At least two that I know of. Right. You could be hiding things, but well, there's the third hiding. one that that we fish uh, smoke then, fish in. Then there's the basement. We won't talk about the basement. Okay. How was your birthday? It was great. It was great. Yes. It was happy. It was that's, happy. That's birthday. the goal yes. of all birthdays. Especially Correct. yours, is Correct. to make them happy. Yes. Because when Luke's happy, everyone's happy. That's what I hear. You're usually happy. <laughs> is that what you hear? Yeah. So we did notice last week, it took us, what, six and a half episodes to realize we don't actually listen to each other when we're talking. We just <laughs> talk <laughs> right. for the camera. Right. <laughs> anyway. We have our own talking points. We do, don't we? Yes. See, I didn't know Wait, what, what you said, but I just agreeing with you. This week, of course, we're going to do weekly specials, brats of the week, local product of the week. What is it this week? Mike's popcorn. Mike's popcorn. Yes, a valley oh. favorite. Uh, special upcoming days, which is of course my favorite. Winner of last week's contest, which was the arbitrary dollar amount, of forty-two dollar gift certificate. I think I have it. That's been in my back pocket for a week. Jeez, <laughs> surprised you haven't lost it. The uh, gift card. The gift card. Yeah. Winner of last week's contest, and we'll do. Are we going to do a new contest? Yes, we should. The answer is absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> So, I'll get a hold we're going to dive right in by asking you to please tell us where we are. We are at Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. Oh, 544 the, North Lost Street. The apparently, Jacob's Meat Market? To say. Yes. One That's and only. That's a, a rather famous location, isn't it? It is. How long yes. has it been here? Uh, it's been Jacob's for 77 years, but it was a meat market since 1882 when it was built. 1882, 77 years as a Jacob's Meat Market. Correct. You opened it 77 years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just had a birthday. I thought we'd just talk about this. That's, and you look younger all right. the time. You got right. that Benjamin Button thing going on. Uh, you Whatever had, that is. <laughs> the audience knows. Oh. Okay. The audience knows. You have some news. You wrote down some news. I, yes. I'll let you take that away. What have you got to say about that? It is uh, Cinco de Mayo. Today? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> so now. <laughs> You're just gonna wear that the whole time. Yes, right? sir. Oh, you dropped Why not? something. Okay, so what do you, uh, do you say? Happy Cinco like de Mayo? <laughs> sure. Happy Cinco de Mayo. How do you say Mayo? that in Spanish? Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Sure. Yeah. That's yeah. like Feliz Navidad, but Moving Cinco de Mayo. Moving right along. We'll yes. probably, this was foreshadowing. We'll come back to Cinco de Mayo. Remember, okay. special days are, are yes. in our future. We're gonna do the specials. Okay. Because that's what we do. That's why we're here. That's why you we're here. You have specials. That's why they're I, there. I want to know all about it, but I think you have a joke for me first. I do. So I was afraid of that. I have some kind of sad news. You know, I have three daughters. That's not sad, but it's true. Well, that part is, <laughs> yeah. But the sad part is that they think that uh, I don't give them enough privacy. Privacy? Is that true? Well, that's what they wrote in their journals anyway. <laughs> Probably true then. Probably, Probably true. <laughs> Probably true. I have, I have not a daughter joke. I have just a nondescript. A son joke? No, not even that. It's, oh, okay. It's an off-the-wall joke. What okay. kind of a bird wears a little skirt? A little skirt? A little skirt. Uh, sure. That would be a tutu can. A tutu, tutu can. can, okay. Tutu okay. can. Uh, I'm going to push these buttons over here so that you can tell me all about these specials. Okay. Which one are we going to start with? We will start with the natural casing wieners. I've got that on the screen, I think. Yes, uh, six forty-nine a pound, the correct price this week. I was going to ask you. I didn't, yes. I didn't run these by you this right. week. <laughs> right, not this week. Because you know I don't look at them anyway. I know, you don't look at them. They look great. Okay. Well, if they're wrong, I'll tell you on Perfect. the air. Perfect. Yeah, right. Right. 649. So that's yes, a good they are. price? Yes, it is. And these are natural casing wieners. Yeah. You say wieners. And about how many do you get in a pound? About 10. 10? Yes. That's a great deal. It is. How I will share with the audience how I eat the wieners. How do you eat the wieners? Uh, so I put them in um, uh, water, cold water, and then you just bring it to a boil and let them boil for about two minutes and then turn it off and then uh, uh, wait about another four minutes and then eat them. Eat them? Plain. Uh, I like them on a bun you with ketchup. You put them on a bun with ketchup. Yes, which is kind of uh, 
full pa. Is that, is that what they say? I don't think you can. I don't think there's a wrong way to eat a wiener. Right. I, I do it the way I learned in Germany. Oh, you take them go. out of the refrigerator. Uh huh. You have a plate, and you put mustard on the plate, and you just dip them in the mustard and eat them. Cold? Yeah, cold. Really? That's what I do. Okay. And Does that have to be before noon, like the Weisswurst? No, no, that's my first. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. This is any time of day, and and I buy them quite often from your store. Yes. Because they're good just to have. Sometimes you're hungry. Sometimes. And you don't yeah. know what you're hungry for, but right. there's the wieners. Until anyway. you see them in the fridge. Next, where are we going? Uh, next, we have uh, boneless country style pork ribs for two ninety nine a pound. Last week you had country style. We did. Oh, but they were bone, bone in. in. Yes. Okay, so we these. We took the bones out. Yes, and charge more. Yes, I get you. Okay. Well, that's the boning charge, you know. <laughs> the boning charge. Uh, so two ninety nine a pound. These are great in a, a crock pot. Um, I like oh. to uh, put them in a crock pot and then let them um, cook for a really long time and then shred them for barbecue pork. They're delicious, or you can also grill them as well. The crock pot sounds like a really good idea. Yes, for the especially these days. Yes, but you're the grill man. You're the grill man. Yes, and that seems like a very good price. It is. Now, give normally me an idea of what a pound. pound <laughs> normally, a dollar. What does a pound of this look like? Uh, it's about two of them. They're about half pound a piece. So they're not in they're not in racks oh, like not. the baby backs. No, they're just like the country style. Where they're they're probably about this big. Okay. And so each one of those is about a half a pound. Correct. So yep. two for a pound. And this is a good yes. price. So I, oh yes. God, you don't spend the fortune here. Correct. Now if I only had a crock pot. Next. <laughs> I've got one you could borrow probably. He said that to me like a year ago. <laughs> I still haven't Just seen like the that table. <laughs> that was my table and I still have it. <laughs> anyway. Good to know. So uh, the next one we have uh, bone-in or boneless beef short ribs for eight ninety nine. dollars Same price on these. Correct. So you, there's no boning charge. No boning or charge. Or deboning yeah. charge. Right. Uh, <laughs> but these are beef, not pork. Correct. And you know, so I am an expert on animal. all butchery things. Yes. The fact that you, you call these. You, you actually uh, identified I a did. T bone today. I did. Yeah, that was Nate was, quite was working impressed. with a piece of meat. I said, Is that a T bone? And he said, It was. It's the first time I got something right. Right. Beef short ribs yes. makes me think there might be long ribs. Correct. There are long ribs. Well, if we leave them long, then they're the long ribs. But these are the short ribs off of the end of the ribeye, actually. The ribeye. Correct. There's a joke in here somewhere. I'm, I don't know. Sure, I'm sure. Anyway, so, but you don't usually we'll leave sell that the for long the ribs, or are those just ribs? Those are ribs, yes. So short ribs and ribs. Correct. Uh, but, beef back ribs are the other ones okay. off of the ribeye. But this week, no, the short ribs. Those. Correct. And, and these are the best of the ribs. The best of the, the ribs, The best or the better. Yeah. I don't know how many ribs there are. <laughs> all of them. All of them. Yes. So these are the best of all. Yes, $8.99 a pound. $8.99 a pound, and about how much do I get? Uh, one, one slab is typically about a pound. Okay. And there are so they're about a pound a piece. How many ribs are in that? Slab? So there are four ribs. Okay. Per short rib, but the boneless ones have zero ribs. They have zero rib bones. Boneless. Yeah. Yes. Let's move to Canada. And shall it's we? always better with the bone in, just so you know. Okay. Why? Because it has well, you more just flavor. Wanted to say that, didn't you? <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> well, you got your line in. <laughs> Let's go to frozen. Canada. Let's go to Canada, eh? A. We have some uh, frozen Canadian walleye fillets for twelve ninety nine a pound. Oh, last time they were French Canadian. French, yeah, so right. This is different. Yeah, somebody called us out on it. Did they? The Mounties Oot? came down. Called us dude. Oot, yeah. Called us dude on it. Uh, and what do I do with that? Because they're frozen. Yeah, you thaw them out and then you cook them so, and but then the, you eat them. Because they're fish, they don't take too long to thaw. Right. Yeah, they're they're not very thick like a okay. like a salmon, so they're really thin, so they thaw and pretty And this quickly. I want to bake in the oven. Oh, uh, you could bake it in the oven, or you could. Uh, a lot of people are using the um, air fryers lately. Oh, which is another thing I don't have. Oh, okay. I'll let Got you borrow those that in too. Your yes, sir. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so these are in the frozen food section. They are. Already Door number three. Door number three. Just, yeah. just help Monty. yourself. Monty. <laughs> Where are we going? All right. Next we have the uh, Jacob's oh, Own Ham Salad this stuff for is three ninety nine a pound. When I get my beaners, I also get some salads. And often it is the ham salad. Right. Because I like snacks in the refrigerator. Right. Anyway, you tell us all about it. So, it, so it's great. It's about 80% ham and 60% bologna. And 80 then we and 60? The, yeah. Yeah, it's an 80-60 combo, meat right? Meat. Yeah. We had the extra bologna always, if you haven't noticed. Um, and then it's, uh, it's made with sweet, sweet relish. Um, it's great for uh, just a Ritz cracker for a little, little snack or appetizer. Um, it's also a lot of people put it on a sandwich. Yeah, you could have a side of the ham salad with your wieners and mustard. Sure. This is a meal. We're getting to a meal. Here. Right. Three right. ninety nine. Now you, when I buy salads that come in the containers at your counter, deli. Yeah. Uh, you have three different sizes. We do. And I say small, medium, large. But sure. they're probably poundage. Is the medium one a poundish? Yes. Or does it depend yeah. on what you're putting in it? Uh, it's typically around a poundish. 
So, but it's okay to say I'll take a medium container. Yeah. And, okay. You can say whatever you want. I here. can say whatever I want. Yeah. We'll, we might make fun of you, what? but you can say whatever you want. Well, you haven't. Is that yet. a new shirt, by the way? This is not a new shirt. Okay. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't Where think going? you mentioned that yet. Uh, so Jacob's Own Sweet and Spicy oh. Beef Jerky for eighteen ninety nine a pound. It says Jacob's Own, which kind of leads me to believe that you're making this. Uh, actually, my brother-in-law, Eric, makes it. Okay. In the back. In the back. Yes, yes. <laughs> here, right here at Jacob's. Jacob's yes. Meat Market is making this Jacob's Own Sweet and Spicy. Right. What makes it sweet and what makes it spicy? Eric? Eric, yes. Eric, okay. Yeah, typically. <laughs> Kind of like Crispix, you know, where one side is uh, sweet and the other side is oh, spicy. Oh yeah, I'm familiar. Are you? So, no. Okay. <laughs> one side is sweet and one side is spicy. Sure. <laughs> if you can figure it out, you. Now they're better than us. I mean, you must get a lot for eighteen ninety nine. Yes, about ten, about ten sticks. Okay. Yeah. So uh, there's another snack. That's right. for on the road, though. Right. And you I, could uh, instead of the Ritz cracker, oh, you could dip that's it. That's a good idea. Use it as a utensil. Correct. And I have like been. A I've spent hours at your deli counter, as you call it. <laughs> Bet you do. People come in just to buy that. Yeah. They go right there, they ask for that, and they walk Def out. Definitely. I pay. They, yeah, after they pay. It, Otherwise, like, June gets a little. It's really well known, I guess. That and your, the, the sticks, whatever. Yeah, last, snack sticks. Last week you had the chicken snack sticks, but you right. have other flavors. We do, yes. I think one's teriyaki. It's not. It's not? <laughs> yes, it's not. It's <laughs> because not. you don't like teriyaki, so we didn't make them. You didn't make them. Okay. Right. Where shall we go now? <laughs> the Brats of the Week. Brats of the Week. Let me see if I can find that. Boom. Da -da -da. Just like that. Brats of the Week. Yes, I suppose sir. you brought two. <clears throat> brought two brats. Brought, brought two. <laughs> yes, we have two Brats two of brats. the Week this week. We What's have uh, Jacob's own Jamaican Brats. Jamaican? You Jamaican fly them in? crazy, man. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, man. Uh, it should be under, oh, underneath, behind that. Behind that spoon rack there, sir. Behind the spoon rack. Oh, Gary's. Bloody Mary mix. Gary's Bloody Mary mix. This this guy's fixing to have a Bloody Mary. It's still morning yet. Jamaican brats. What makes them Jamaican? Yes. Uh, so it's a pork brat. Got some steel with, drums in there? Uh, no. OK. I'm sorry. Pork brat. Anything else? With? <laughs> Any other guesses? I will. OK. okay. <laughs> you enjoy that. Yes. <laughs> Opening day. <laughs> OK. Have fun. So the Jamaican brats are They're pork a brats. pork brat, yes, mm -hmm. with uh, dehydrated mango, papaya, and pineapple. Oh, very tropical. All fruits, all very fruits tropical. from, yes, uh, with a Jamaican jerk seasoning. Okay, so no teriyaki. Yes. Yes, no. Yes, no teriyaki. Yes, no teriyaki. Yes. Okay, uh, That's not I very Jamaican. don't remember if that was came up in the favorite brats that we asked for last week, but I might have to try that and, and add it to my favorites. Yes, yes, they are actually very, very delicious. Very delicious. Yes. But well, you have to say that. I don't have to say that. <laughs> Where are we I going? I don't say that about head cheese. I don't really care for head cheese. <laughs> like, so. Do you sell that? Though? We do, yes, yes. Uh, next is uh, Jacob's own jalapeno and cheddar. Jala jalapeno. Jalapeno. Uh, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Jalapeno and cheddar brats? Yes. What in the world could you possibly put in that brat to make it a jalapeno and cheddar brat? Um, I'll give you two guesses. Jalapeno and cheddar? Yes. Oh. Very good. Finally. Wow. <laughs> I see how you operate. Yes. But you don't just stuff a jalapeno in there. Or is this a dehydrated jalapeno? It's a dehydrated. Dehydrated yes. jalapeno. Yep. And dehydrated sure. cheddar. Uh, high temp cheddar. High temp. Which is important because? So that it doesn't melt on you right away. You don't want it to melt while you're cooking the broth. Of course. Uh, of course. But, uh, they're, of course. They're both 469 a pound. They're both 469 yes. about four, four? Per pound. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, you're getting this. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. Um, I think I've asked all my questions except the Wiener Wiener question. Oftentimes, and there are some signs around here that they're, they're Wieners, not hot dogs. What is the scientific difference? Between a hot dog, this is not a joke. I'm asking, what's the difference between a hot well, dog I, and a wiener? I think everybody asks it because there, the, there's a sign right by the wieners that says "wieners, not hot dogs." Okay, and then they say, "What's and then the they difference?" Say, what's the difference? And yes. you say, and I say, oh, yeah, uh, "What do you say?" <laughs> yeah. Come on. That's the age-old question. So the the difference is that we don't put lips or tails in. So we put 100% um, pork and 100% beef in there. It's not any byproducts or anything like that. Oh, Mechanically separated that's chicken. That's why they're if so you look good. At, yeah, right. That's and they have the natural good. casing as well. Which means? They snap when you bite into them. They snap it. And you can eat them, the casing. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yep. Some hot dogs don't have natural casings? Correct. What correct. do they they're have? A, they're skinless. 
Oh, like, skinless. You know, skinless. Oh, no, you need, yeah. the, you need the case. That's need for the, the kids. Case. Now we know. You right? don't put lips or tails. No lips, no tails. Yeah. And that's we Venus. save that for other things. <laughs> well, that's that, probably the ham sound. Not right? here yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not the ham sound. Did we get your joke? We got your joke. I think we did. We're going to go to the guest of the week now. We are. Which is Anne. Anne yes. from Mike's Popcorn. Popcorn. You have bags of popcorn right here that you're going to show. We that's do. my favorite right there, the Carmelicious. Because I like sweet popcorn. Correct. Uh, speaking of popcorn, is there did a you know? Here? No. Uh -oh. I was once fined fifty dollars for sneaking popcorn into a movie theater. Fifty dollars. But that's okay. It was still cheaper. We'll be right back. <laughs> cheaper than buying the popcorn at the movie theater. You better put the. All right, we are back with BSTV, and we are with uh, Mike's Popcorn here, and here we have Anne. Anne, nice to see you. Yeah, you too. So can you tell us a little bit about Mike's Popcorn, how it was started, and how many years ago and everything? Yeah, so uh, Mike's Popcorn is a family business. Mike is my dad, and he bought a popcorn stand in 1968, actually here on Wisconsin Avenue. Okay. I don't, it wasn't originally on Wisconsin Avenue, but that was way before my time. Okay. Um, so... <laughs> And um, he had a full-time regular job at a paper mill, and he retired in 2000. And he started making flavored popcorn, and okay. it just became popular. And one thing after another, we were kind of um, introduced some distributors, and here we are, how many years later, selling popcorn all over the United States. Wow, that's all over the United States? All over the United States. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you distribute it then? You. So a lot of them will, we have distributors in different states. Okay. Or we'll sell direct to stores, right from our dock to their dock. But yeah, we're pretty much in almost every state. Wow. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know that about it. Yeah. And the cool thing about Mike's Popcorn is we, we, pop it, we, we pop it, we flavor it, we bag it, and we send it out the door. We don't outsource anything at Mike's Popcorn. So you Popcorn. don't have a co-pack or anything that no, does that? No, nothing. Wow. Yeah, we do it all. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. So we're right in, in the Fox Cities here? Yeah, so our facility is in Menasha, Wisconsin, and okay. that's where everything's everything's done. Okay. Yeah, and the recipes are still the recipes that my dad came up with. He came up with the caramel recipe, which was his favorite, um, the cheese, everything. So we make it on a much larger scale, but everything is still Mike's recipes. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. So did he come up with the caramel recipe? Yeah, the caramel he... recipe. Yep, it was on a copper kettle, and um, we still use all, like, real vanilla, real butter. Okay brown sugar it's a recipe that he came up with so we don't just cut open a package right and you know boil it right. up and coat sure. the popcorn and you can taste it like if right. you had our caramel popcorn oh definitely yes yeah, you can taste that butter and it's super sweet yes yeah you yes. can tell it's homemade yes yeah so so you um do you sell the caramel 
would that would that work very well for just selling caramels, or is it just for the popcorn? Just for the popcorn. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, because we don't actually put like car- we don't melt caramels. Okay. We right. make a caramel slurry. Okay. Gotcha. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And then you just dump it over the yep. popcorn. And then it, yep. And then it coats it and cools it. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So how many different flavors do you make? So we have two different lines. What you sell here at Jacobs is our full Coke Gourmet line. Okay. Okay. So it's really, as you can see, it's really cheesy. Yeah. Okay. Every so, single kernel. Yeah, yes. Really cheesy. So we have a caramel popcorn, cheese, the white popcorn, which started with the stand, which is actually okay. my favorite. That's yeah. really the only one I eat. The stand or the white popcorn is your favorite? <laughs> the popcorn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, um... We have, so then we, we take those three main flavors and we also mix them. So we'll have a cheese caramel mix. We have cheese caramel white mix. Oh, okay. We just started a kettle corn. Um, and then what you don't carry here, we do offer really big value size bags. They're okay. not as coated, um, but that way we can still give you the good value price. Okay, sure. But they're still really good. I would never sell anything that didn't taste good because, right. it's, you know, it's got my dad's name sure. on it. Yeah, right. Yep. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Um, so do you have, uh, is there a next generation that might be coming after... Well, I hope. I mean, there's definitely enough grandkids. He okay. has 11 grandkids and even little grandbabies. Um, I have four daughters, and my youngest, who's 11, she talks about taking over the business someday. So, okay. you know, I got awesome. lots of time to work, so hopefully maybe she will do that. That's awesome. That's yeah. really cool. Mm-hmm. And so I'm, I'm assuming that we have seen some of the grandkids throughout the years, maybe on Wisconsin Avenue oh, yes. at the popcorn all, stand. Yep. All of them work through the popcorn stand. Okay. And that's why a lot of people notice we don't have the popcorn stand anymore. It's because we we ran out of grandkids to do that. Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, most of them are off in the you know the, the United States, living their own life. Right. And um, yeah, so it, for us to keep that going, it wouldn't have been really family run anymore. So sure. we decided as a family that it was the right time to okay you know, put that away. Okay. Um, so it's produced in in Menasha. Mm-hmm. It's packaged in Menasha. It's sold throughout the United States. Yep. Um, do you are you in other grocery stores too? I'm assuming. Like I've seen you in Festival. Yep, we're in Festival Foods, Woodman's, um, some Piggly Wigglies. Okay. Um, Simon's Cheese. Yeah, okay. In the, in the sure. local area. Sure. Um, are there any other products that you that you carry? You carry the the three main flavors. Yep. Um, and you just started kettle corn? Yep, we well. started kettle corn in the fall. Can we sell that anytime soon? You can, just in the big value size bags. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that'd yeah. be awesome. Kettle mm-hmm. corn is my favorite. And yeah. I've never tried yours, but the white popcorn is delicious. Yeah, that is definitely my favorite. Good, good. Mm-hmm. What is, so is kettle corn is your favorite? No, the white popcorn. Oh, the white popcorn. Yep. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. And gotcha. I think it's because I grew up on it, so I think it's yeah. just my go to. How many how many batches do you think you've made throughout your oh, my, at the career? popcorn stand? Yeah. I don't even know. I started when I was 13. Okay. And I, we, we put that away when I was 46. And now you're 23? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really, though? Uh, anyway, anyway, yeah. <laughs> All right, is there anything else that we have not talked about that you um, would like to tell? Well, I just think, and we talked about this a little bit before, but, like, the relationship that Mike's and Jacobs has, yeah. it's long history. I mean, when I was a little girl, my dad, I remember walking through the back door when we were delivering popcorn balls yeah, and walking through and commenting on things. And now it's really like full circle for me and I love it. And I love, like I'm the one still that delivers the popcorn yeah. now. Yep. And every once in a while I'll have my girls with me and they make similar comments that I made when I was little. And it, I don't know, it just always makes me smile whenever I deliver here because yeah. I expect such memories. Right, right. It was like your dad and my dad and now, right. now it's us. Right, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming by. Yeah. Um, I think for the next six customers that that come in, um, I think we'll give them a free bag of whichever flavor yeah, they like. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and I think we can go from there. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Me. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank I really you. appreciate it.
we we have jalapeno. talent. Where does that come from? Where's the I talent? I have to go find that. Where's the talent? That's what I want to know. There's the talent. I've been looking for the talent yeah. since episode one. <laughs> well, yeah, are you that too? That was a great, great interview. Thank you. And you, I mean, yes. I, I made the same error in thinking, thinking that they melt the caramel for their popcorn. Right. They're making the caramel from scratch. Right. No wonder it's so good. Right, definitely. Yeah. That bag's mine, by the way. With the caramelicious one? Yeah, the caramelicious one. Oh, I think I already named it. Did you? Did called it. Called it? I called for it, you? Yeah. No, you want, you want kettle corn. Oh, you want the kettle oh yeah, corn. correct. Yeah, correct. Kettle corn. Uh, if we wrap this up now, I want to talk about special days. Yes. Because that's what I do. Right. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, May 4th, is of course Star Wars Day. Uh, Why is that? May the 4th be with you. Yeah, and also rumor, with you. rumor is that you were named after Luke Skywalker. Incorrect. Are you sure? Let me check. Yep, I'm sure. Then how do you explain your sister Chewbacca? <laughs> he didn't know that was coming. Uh, I'm going to tell her you said that. Uh, you have a sister. Yeah, I'm going to okay. tell all Not five that of them sister. that you said none, that. None of those <laughs> I'm going to tell all five of them you said that. <laughs> Are any of them named Chewbacca? Yes, they're not. Yes, they're not. Uh, <clears throat> There's no. no R2-D2 either. Is that Star Wars or is that Star Trek? That's Star know. Wars. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. This Friday, you know what that is. Yes. It is Cinco de Mayo. And I what discovered Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is odd to me that it seems to always fall on the 5th of May. Yeah? Why, why do you suppose that is? I, I don't understand. I don't know, speak it as Spanish. What, what is it anyway? It's where you have to fill your sink with mayonnaise? Mayo, yeah. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. And just, just because I'm having so much fun, <laughs> what famous country singer is, what, what country singer is famous for celebrating Cinco de Mayo? Um, I know a lot of country singers, but I can't think of who it might be. Arriba McIntyre. <laughs> I like that. I like, I like it. That. I, I like that too. We, I concur. We had a special giveaway last week uh, for your birthday. Yes. For your birthday. Yes. All you had to do was comment below the video and say happy birthday. And many people, you have a lot of fans. I'm going to read off just some. I think, I think a lot of people just wanted the gift card. No, these were heartfelt and sincere. You could see it in the writing. Oh, yeah. The, I, I have that. The exclamation have point. That. Is that what it did it? <laughs> anyway, uh, you have to thank Colleen, Sean, Shelly, Keith, Jim, Stacy, Mary, Rhonda, Karen, Sherry, Jeannie, Colleen, Timothy, Karen, Katie, among others. Uh, Rhonda and Rhoda here as well. And Rhoda. Yes. And uh, we have a winner. We do. Yeah, Stacy. What's the last name? Streck. Streck. Stacy yes. Streck has won. I wonder if she's got a mom that's got it going on. Very likely. Very so do likely. you think, so do you think, just off the cuff here, do you think that she knew she had it going on, so she had to name her daughter Stacy? I'm sure that's possible, just like you were named after Luke Skywalker. <laughs> okay, next. Well, congratulations, congratulations. Stacy. Yeah. Stacy has to come in to pick this up. Yes. And you'll have it? I'll have we'll, it, sure. Okay, you'll have it. If I'm not here, she Someone doesn't will get have it. it. She doesn't get it, okay. You have to come in when Luke's here. So. Next Wednesday at 10.30, he'll definitely be here. You want to do a new contest. Yes. What's the prize going to be? I'm going to say it's a pound of bacon. Okay, pound, a pound of, bacon. of bacon. And, uh, oh, look, I don't have anything there. Just leave a comment in this video letting us know what you drink for Cinco de Mayo. What do you drink for Cinco de Mayo? Do you drink uh, for Cinco de Mayo? Modelo. Modelo. Modelo, yeah. You like Modelo for Cinco de Mayo? Okay. Yes. So that's all you have to do. Sure. Even if you drink nothing, you can say nothing, and you'll pick a winner for what's next the, week. What's the name for water? Agua. Agua. Yeah. Agua. 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 Yeah. Agua. You can say agua. If agua. You... Yeah. O nada. O tequila. Sure. So that's all I got. That's all. You have something else? <laughs> no, that's all. You have, I have some too. lines to read right there. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll try to be I quiet yes. while you do that. Yes. It's not going to work, but I'll. <laughs> Unless it's not mute, uh, muted already. It's not All right, thank you very much for watching. We'll be back again it for does another not say episode. Very much. You, you're editorializing. It just says yeah, that's thanks. Right. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you did say to read it. You didn't say to ad lib. Okay. Uh, thank you very much again for watching uh, BSTV. We'll be back again next Wednesday for another live broadcast at 10:30 on Wednesday. Uh, please like this video and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, come visit us at the store at Law and Pacific, and we are open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Remind me next week we need to talk about your mailing list. So we invite people to like the video hey, and subscribe. Remind me now. I'll watch the video. Yes, uh, just re okay. Just 
Don't forget the mailing Don't list. forget to remember to remind me. Yes. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Bye. Have a great week.